up, compassionate people? Today, let's talk about something. A video I've been meaning to make for a while now. Please stop using the term carnist or carnism. Coined by Dr. Melanie Joy, it is the idea that there's an invisible belief system that people who consume flesh and eat animals are part of this club, just like we are and nothing could be further from the truth. The fact is, we are all born as default humans, and our culture, society, and families, and friends, and all that influences us and brainwashes us into different systems of belief. Veganism is the default. Because a plant-based diet does not clog your arteries and has many other benefits that can be scientifically proven and have been in multiple studies like the Blue Zone studies, the China study, and many, many more you can find, we know that veganism is fact. And again, it is the default position for what these are for. These here, see this? You know what this is for? This is for tearing into fruit, just like a lot of our ape and monkey cousins. We are frugivores by nature. That's an argument for another video, but just putting that in there. Every time you call them carnage, you're not only reinforcing the idea that what they're doing is about flesh consumption is about meat, you're also reinforcing the idea that they are separate from us. When we want them to become us, we want them to be who we are. I coined a term a couple months back, and I, uh, actually it's longer than a couple months back, last spring, and I've been using it since then a little loosely here and there all over Facebook and also other places and in conversations with people pre-vegan. That is the term we should be going with. Uh, there, I've, I've also used non-vegan, Instead of in place of carnist, I know it feels good saying carnist. Oh, that carnist. Oh, carnists. Oh, that carnist did this and that. I know, I know. It's, it's part of, it's become part of the fabric of our community. And sadly, it's not good for what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish. First of all, we have to make sure we define veganism not only through a definition and through our actions and through telling people things, we need to define it through our language and through the emotions that we convey to people. If we're calling them carnists and carnism, even if you're not saying it to their face, but you're using it behind closed doors, they still see that sometimes. And it rubs off on new vegans who are gung-ho and ready to go at it. And, you know, they will call them that. We cannot continue to separate them from us, especially when they were born vegan and they should be vegan. It's what their bodies are supposed to have. It's the way our species is supposed to eat. Carne, the root word, comes from meat, comes from flesh. Making it focused on that makes the non-vegan, the pre-vegan, think that that is what we are focused on too, and it's not. We are focused on dairy, flesh, eggs, exploitation in every kind of way and facet that we use animals from riding horses to circuses, to sea world, to everything in between. Every way that we use animals that they don't deserve and they shouldn't be used. We are ignoring that part when we stuff them in this category and we are telling them with one word, one word, one word, we are telling them it's about diet. It's about meat. And that's it. And that is the wrong message to send. We've got to stop. So like I said, I suggest using the word pre-vegan or non-vegan when you talk to them or about them in any context. It's hard because I, even all these months, like, what is it now, eight months later, almost a year later, I'm, I still find myself sometimes in my head, I want to say carnist or carnism because it is, it does feel like an empowering thing, like they're carnists and we're over here, we're the peaceful, great vegans, but we can't be like that. We have to, we have to lower the barrier of entry into the belief system that we have created and evolved into what it is now. We need this for the future as well, for humans and the planet, but animals most importantly, of course. So that's all I wanted to say. It's a video I thought about making for a long time. I forgot here and there, and then recently got into a conversation on Facebook on my personal profile, and it kind of reminded me, I do need to make this. I do want to put this out there, and that's everything for right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please stop using the word. <laughs> Pre-vegan or non-vegan. See you guys next video. Later.